Everything in this world is made up of matter. And those matters behave. I'm only joking. Yeah, class is finished. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in college. L'Université. That's a bit of French for you. Happy Monday to everyone. Just got my locker opened after about 15 minutes of struggle. Also picked up my accounting book. It's a lot thinner than the one we got last semester. And apparently the accounting modules in commerce get easier as time goes on. So I passed the first one just about a D minus. I'm gonna find out in two days time my results from my other stuff from like last semester. So yeah, hopefully I pass this one as well. Singapore or Christmas fish? Yes, what well, I was. Look at her. Comment down below if you want more fish in the vlogs. Ah, ah. We got ourselves one beautiful foot long, a hearty Italian BMT, chipotle sauce, and lettuce. Let us be having a bit of that. Dude! What's up? Great to see you again. Hope everyone is well. I'm gonna to cut to the chase. Today, we are going to talk about the CAO. I put up on my Snapchat the other day, before the vlog went out on Sunday, I was like, do you want a video where I talk about my CAO, CAO experience? Because the deadline's coming up February 1st. This comes out on the 24th, I believe. Uh, so basically, you guys have a week to decide what you want to put down for your choices in college. So if you're not interested in that and you want to skip to some entertainment, then you can go to this point here. But if you want to hear a, what I think is a very compelling story about my whole experience with the CAO, then I'd, I'd stick with it. So the whole CAO process for me would have began somewhere around fifth year. Because in my school, there was big emphasis on like deciding or thinking about what you're going to do in college from like an early stage in the senior cycle of school. And in my head, I wanted to do science. Why was that? Because I had done well on my junior cert, like I got quite a few A's and a couple of B's. I didn't necessarily know what I wanted to do in college. But one of the indicators they said towards picking something in college was to do something that A, you were interested in, or B, you were good at. So I wasn't sure what I was interested in, so I went to the things that I was good at. And a couple of those were science. So for my leaving cert, I did chemistry and physics and Greek. Greek and I was a very funny one. When it came to something like chemistry and physics, I went to my teacher and I said, what would you think of me doing something like that in college? Now, because I'd been a good student before, uh, they said, yeah, why not go for it? It would probably suit you very well. In fifth year onwards, in my head, I had the idea of putting down science. And that's basically what I did. It came up to the whole CIO process, and these were my top four preferences. I had science in Trinity, science in UCD. Third, I had Bess in Trinity. Now, why I put that down, I think it was because last minute I was like, Fuck, may I, maybe I want a business course here instead. Fourth, I had genetics in DCU. Fifth, I had something in DIT. And then I can't remember my last five that I put down. I went into the mocks and I got like 540. And I was like, I'm dead set on getting science. So I did my leaving search, felt like it went pretty well. And the summer happened. And at the end of the summer, obviously you have that dreaded time when you have to get your results. I remember the morning I like, logged onto the cao.ie website. I looked at my results and my heart sank. I got 505, which to a lot of people is obviously really good. But for me, the way it had like fallen in 2015, I missed my top three preferences by five points. They were all 510. So I ended up getting genetics in DCU. And I was not gonna lie, I was like very sad for like five minutes. But then I said, look, this is the way the cards have been dealt to me and I'm gonna to go to DCU and I'm gonna have a great time. So I went to DCU and to my surprise, I actually had a great time. That's not a reflection of the college, but it was more like I had just got it stuck in my head that I wanted Trinity and that 
since I didn't get it, it felt like a bit of a failure at the beginning. But when I went to DCU, I realized it was actually a sick campus. The people were really cool. I wasn't so sure about the course, but I was gonna flesh it out and see what the story is. So after about three months in DCU, I was like, science is definitely not for me and I decided to basically drop out. Dad was a little bit disappointed. Mum was initially a little bit disappointed, but then she sort of, mum was always looking out for me. So she said, you know, this is probably a step in the right direction. So I had to go back and do my CIO for a second time, reusing the points that I got for my 2015 leaving series. What I chose to put down was business. Now, why I chose to do that was because I had a bit of an interest in videos, even at that point. And I was saying to myself, if I pick business, it's probably something I'll be able to finish. I just want a course that I could finish. I had two options. I could pick Trinity or UCD. So it was coming up to the deadline, which is February 1st. And I was like, okay, I'm either gonna do BESS or I'm gonna do Commerce. So BESS is in Trinity, Commerce is in UCD. So I rang up Trinity and I said to them, would you have someone who could bring me around, who could bring me around the college a bit? I could ask them a few questions. Maybe you have like a business school representative who brings students around. And they were like, they said, no, we don't have that. But you can go to the business building. So I went to the business building. I said what was going on. I was there with my dad. I'm a student who's finished his leaving cert and I wanna see if I wanna to go to your college. They said, no, we can't deal with you. Go to reception at the student's union. So I went up to the reception. The student's union was busy because there was like a lot of tours going on and stuff. And we met this guy there and he basically said that his two sons had gone and they had a great time and that I should come as well. So I left that feeling very unconvinced. It's that same day before we had rang UCD, the business school. Now my dad had known a lot about this. My dad came here and did like ag science in the 80s. So he really liked UCD and he liked the way the whole place had like developed since then. So he thought it would be a great match for me. So we rang up the business school and Svetlana, who I now know, who's the receptionist, uh, she, said, yeah, we'll pass you on to the marketing director, Adam. So Adam was kind enough to take myself and my dad to bring us up to the Starbucks. He sat us down, we got a coffee, opened up the prospectus, and like Adam answered all the questions we had. Like I now worked with Adam, I know we have seen the previous video that I put out on Sunday, but like I'm really, I'm incredibly grateful for that because if it wasn't for that conversation, I'm not sure what I would have put on my CAO, you know? So 18 months later, it was probably one of the best decisions I've made. Subsequent to going to college, I vlogged for a year. I got attention on the back of that and became one of the youngest members of staff that the university has. I've made over 150 vlogs. I've also run my own freelance videography business outside of class. And in 2017, I had over 40 clients, made over 60 videos for other people and generated over four, five figures in revenue. And I guess one of the questions is, if I was to go back, and to do it again, like what would I do differently? Initially, when I was thinking this question, I was thinking I would have gone back and done a gap year because if I had had the space, then I might have understood better what I wanted to do in college. But realistically, I think what I did was probably the best thing I could have done. Because when you're in secondary school, I think everyone is taught that if you put enough time and effort into your application, that is what's gonna lead you to doing a course that you like. So if you research it properly, if you understand how many points you need, if, you're young, if you understand the topics that are covered, then you're gonna increase the probability that you like your course. I just think that's completely not true because everything I like about business isn't really dealt with in the classroom. Like what I like about business is sort of the you know content creation side, meeting new people, coming up with sort of interesting strategies and stuff. That stuff is not, like I have not experienced in a classroom basically at all, maybe in one or two modules. One of the things I've loved about this course is like meeting everybody in the course. That's definitely one of the big strengths. It's, it's, it's basically pitched to you as if like, if you make the wrong decision that there's like no help for you or there's nothing else you could do. When I had dropped out, there's so many other options for you. Like you can drop it within six weeks or half a semester. You can do the entire year or apply somewhere else. You can, you know, redo the CAO. There's so many different options that you can do. My take home advice is put down your best guess of what you think you might enjoy. If you have the option, go to a course, like a class in UCD, because you can basically, you know, hop into a lecture in Sutherland or something and get a feel for it. Or maybe you go to Trinity or maybe you go to DCU. If you go there and you don't like it, don't be afraid to reassess things, talk to, talk to other people and maybe change direction. Is there, is there a class in here now? Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm actually just gonna keep talking. So I guess I'll finish up at this point. Make your best guess. 
If you don't get the course that you want or you feel like the course isn't for you, don't be afraid. There's so many options out there for you to change course, take a year out, talk to other people and find something that you do enjoy. If anybody has any questions or they'd like to give me a call, be that on Facebook Messenger or something, send me a DM on Instagram. One of the major things for me this year has been I've spoken to like over 30 people who are like 16, 17 or 50 and 60 who are unsure about the whole college thing. So I'm no expert, but I can certainly help you out with my experience. So uh, yeah, hope that was helpful. Back again, today is like day, you got my shit with me. I'm gonna have to use these lockers, but they cost a euro to use. Time to get magically dressed. Literally, just as I say that, I found a locker that doesn't require one euro. A few moments later. Okay, I'll see you after the set. <laughs> Great set, but no. That was literally the most packed UCD gym I've ever seen in my entire life. It reminds me that I said to myself, because like I didn't start, I wasn't going to the gym towards like Christmas and the exams last semester. That I'm gonna have to go in the morning time if I want to go this semester. So I've learned that lesson. But I've learned a lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope the whole CAO thing was helpful, telling you about my experience. If you want any other college videos? Let me know in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, what are you freaking doing, man? The littest college freaking YouTube channel in Ireland. And uh, other than that, I'll see you Sunday at 8.30 p.m. where I'm going to open my exam results. That's going to be scary. See you soon. Peace.